you don't have a choice. You have an accuser, Satan, and you can't skip court. Just like an innocent man who is accused in court still has to go through the trial process. What you don't understand is how we appear before the judgment seat. This is why it's important to understand the sanctuary message and what took place in the Old Testament along with the New Testament. The judgment happens in three phases. The pre-advent phase, the millennial phase, and the post-millennial phase. This is what the Bible teaches. In the pre-advent phase, any judgment that takes place prior to the second coming cannot include the active input of people from the earth. But the records of our lives are present. That's how those who will reign with Christ for the thousand years appear before the judgment seat. But Satan and the rest of the wicked are not present in the courtroom to join in review of the records. God has a threefold agenda. Crowning Jesus as king of the cosmos, awarding a kingdom to the saints, and destroying sin and evil forever. When the first phase of judgment closes, all the inhabitants of the cosmos, except for those on earth, have agreed that crowning the Son of Man, awarding a kingdom to the saints, and destroying the great rebellion are all necessary and just. The first phase of the judgment is then going to close. Christ will return and take his people to heaven and the millennium will begin. In the millennial phase, don't you know that we will judge angels? Paul asks in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 3. The thousand years have just that serious purpose. The records are opened to the redeemed from the earth and they have the question of the justice of God's three proposals laid before them. The opinions of those redeemed from the earth are critically important for two reasons. First, their loved ones are the ones who will go down to destruction. The saved must be satisfied of the justice and the love of this decision. Second, the best system of jurisprudence insists that the accused have a right to trial by a jury of their peers. And such a jury is going to be provided. This stage takes a thousand years, Revelation 20. Then New Jerusalem comes down to earth and the second resurrection takes place. The resurrection of the wicked and the third phase of judgment begins. The post-millennial phase. The resurrected wicked attack New Jerusalem only to find they have answered a summons to appear in court. During the first two phases of judgment, all other persons in the universe have studied the records. Satan and his followers are the only ones so far left out and now it's their turn to face the record. The clothes of the wicked too are dirty, but they turned down the clean clothes God offered and they would not let him pull them out of the fire. Now they try to explain away, rationalize, or excuse the dirty clothes they would not give up. But the dirt cannot be justified or explained before the eyes of all. And by the end of the third phase, every knee has bowed and every tongue has confessed the justice of God's three-point agenda. Cosmic vindication has finally been achieved. The justice of God's three-point agenda has been acknowledged by all. With universal acclaim, Christ will reign as king of the cosmos, the rebellion will be eternally destroyed, and God's people will receive an everlasting kingdom.